Hi everybody, it's Poya Del Mar in San Francisco. And at the request of some of my Instagram followers, I am gonna be doing a new makeup tutorial today for YouTube. Before we start, let's get the pertinent facts out of the matter. Follow me on Instagram at Poyo Del Mar Fans. I'm gonna put it right there. Follow me on Periscope at Poyo Del Mar Fans. Follow me on Twitter at the Glamazon PDM. It's right there. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Poyo Del Mar fans. Easy enough, right? Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick makeup tutorial based on makeup that I saw on Vivacious once from RuPaul's Drag Race. A legendary drag artist Divine also wore makeup very similar to this in a number of her photo shoots. But I'm gonna modernize it just a little bit. And by modernizing it, I mean I'm going to adapt it to my look and you can use the same technique you want to capture your own look. You can replicate this look. Or if you want to do something more inspired by Divine, just raise the arch of the eyebrow and pull it way back. Right. With that said, I think it's time for us to get started on this makeup tutorial. All right, you guys, I am back. As you can see, I've already blocked out my eyebrows and applied most of my foundation and contouring. If you want to see how I do that, I have other YouTube videos that you can find on my channel. I'm not going to go into that now. We are going to focus on an eye. So I'm going to start off. I don't always use really nice brushes. I use this one. This one's an art supply brush. It's just flat, little flat brush like this. I'm going to start off with my foundation. This is a 2W. This is my highlight foundation. It's from Kryolan. It's a TV pan stick. And I'm going to start by literally sketching out the shape that I want this eye to be. For those who are curious, this is the same sponge that I applied my highlight with down here. I'm just using it now because this is the same color. <clears throat> Patting it in. You have to be, for me, I have to be rather generous with the makeup over by my eye because um, I'm covering my brow. You can see I've literally blocked in where I want the eyebrow to be. I'll put that in later, pat this out, use my foundation br uh, sponge to blend it, just so that I've got that to start with. This is an e.l.f. brush, girls. Get it from Walmart or Target. If you want to use really nice brushes, by all means, go right ahead, but I'm really not that interested. And now I'm going to come under, I'm using, a, this color is called Fennel, it's also a product from Krylon. It's a little bit brighter than a white. So I'm going to use this at the very top arch of my brow. Depending on what colors you're using, like a nice cream or what color your skin tone is, a nice cream color or maybe even like a goldish colored shimmer would be really pretty up here. Coming all the way along, just because I want to give a light, I want to give a light um, color right under that, but we'll come back in in a second. Now this is a nice brush. This is a nice little angled brush like this. This is from MAC Cosmetics. I do not know what number it is. It was a gift. I don't spend a lot of money like that. I'm going to use a deep burgundy color like this. This is a deep, this color is called DP. Yikes. DP from Krylon. It's um, a cream. It's very similar to the dark color I use for my dark contour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a beginning line. And what I, you'll see how it's going to go. But it's going to go along this way, along the brow. And then it's going to swoop up. And then the, below it, we're going to leave an open area. But this is going to be the foundation for what I'm going to blend up. Once I've mapped it out, I'm lightly going along it and spreading the cream out. Now I'm going to come back in with a sponge that I use my dark contour on, and I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. I'm 
because it's a cream, it goes real smooth on there. Before I do anything above it, I want to come in and set the bottom. I'm using another little flat elf brush like this in a color called Sunrise, also from Krylon. It's a baby pink. It's very, very, very light, but I love the way it looks underneath the eye. It's not adhering like I want, so I'm going to put a little extra foundation on there. This is the highlight foundation, the sponge. I'm just going to come in. It's a great thing about a sponge. Let's try it again. You'll notice I'm coming all the way into the corner of my eye. Okay. Now I'm using like a rounded tip brush like this. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna set this line in the color that I want. I'm gonna use color 617 from Inglot. It's a deep purple, bright, bright purple. And where I need to, I'm gonna use that little angled brush. To really define the line. Gently buffing the color up. A lot of people will not do this eye the same way I would, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. Now I'm taking another sponge. I'm gonna use a little bit of the foundation color again on the sponge. Putting that along here. Now I'm using the back side of the sponge and I'm gonna buff it up. I've mostly blended a lot of it out, which is exactly what I wanted. We still have the defined line right along here. Now I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush like this. Full fuchsia from MAC Cosmetics. I'm just gonna tap it on there. Coming back in with that white, just to buff it out just a little bit to tone down and blend it. Now that I want to, I want to put a little more of the purple in, but I'm going to use the big fluffy brush. If the color is not working out for you, this is what I'm going to suggest. <clears throat> if you're not getting the color match you want, just take that one of those sponges, like on the blank side. Ooh. Tap along it a few times. I like the color it's, it's come out to be there. Clean off my angled brush. Ooh, makeup towel is not so cute, huh? It's one of those towels that no matter what you do to it, it's always gonna look like you pooped on it recently. And I'm gonna take a black liner and I'm gonna fill in the area under my uh, on my lid. I'm gonna start real close to the lash down here. I'm gonna come up at a wide angle, but then down here I'm gonna start tracing the sort of the angle that this is swooped at because I want it to be a cat eye of sorts. Now that I've got that blackened in, I'm going to clean off this fluffy brush and I'm gonna use it to set it. This is a sparkle black. It's almost gone from Krylon because I use it so much. You can see it's a little messy, so I'm just gonna use the angled brush and come clean it back up.
Add an eyebrow on top. Using just a sponge to connect my eyebrow to my nose contour. To add a little extra drama right along here, I'm gonna come up next to it with that fennel color, because it's really, once there's a white next to it, it's really gonna pop. Now to give some under eye drama, I'm gonna use the big fluffy brush. I'm gonna buff out the black, because remember we just used black in there. And I'm gonna use that Purple from Inglot. Then I'm gonna use this rounded tip brush to really get up against the eyelash. And now I'm gonna use that pink right below it. Come up against the side of the wing right here. Just a teeny bit. Just for some drama, right? And then sort of basically to finish it off, I'm gonna come in right here. I like to lighten this up. I'm gonna use that Day Rise color again. I love this color, so I'm gonna just throw a little lightness around all around it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna finish the other eye, throw on all the rest of the face, and I'm gonna come back and show you what the finished product looks like. I don't think you need to see me replicate it, right? We're pretty good on this one. When Divine does it, by the way, it comes like all the way up here and out like this. Um, when I saw Vivacious do it, it came up and came out like this, but it wasn't so high, but pretty adaptable. I think it's really cool. I love the way that this swoop looks. So we'll see what it looks like with the finished product with lashes, full face in just a minute. All right, everybody, here is the finished product. I will tell you that I came in after the fact and used a little bit of color, the same colors, of course, and the same brushes to touch up areas just to make sure that they looked even and symmetrical. But I've never yet, in 10 years of doing drag, gotten two eyes to look exactly the same. So this is as good as it's gonna get. I threw on some hair, some vibrant red, a little flower in it to tie the pinks and purples in. I don't know what you're gonna think of this, but I like it. So do something like really snatched back with this. And if you make it super dramatic and use different colors, you could even make this look very space age, very Vegas in space, if you guys know what that is. Anyway, I hope that you like this tutorial. Oh, asymmetrical lip, God damn it. I'll come back in and fix that. Anyway, I hope that you guys like this tutorial. These eyes are pretty good. I like them. I hope you do too. Subscribe, share, comment, the comments are below. And of course, check back in on my YouTube channel for all kinds of other things. Follow me on Instagram, Periscope, Twitter, Facebook. Let's connect on social media and I might even give in and join Snapchat at some point. I'll see you guys soon. I'm Poet Omar. Remember, makeup is supposed to be fun. So if it's not, you could be doing something wrong. Just enjoy yourself, honey. It's all about illusion and feeling glamorous. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.